hi guys welcome to my channel today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet this small fish so to make this i have used single crochet stitches and did total 27 round so this is 3 inch in length you can use this fish in any of your crochet project and crochet decoration before we start to make this is small fish I would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this small fish so to make this I am going to use two colors white and yellow this is thin cotton thread from this brand this is size 10 thread and for this cotton thread I am going to use crochet hook of size 1.5 mm you will need some fiber filling for the stuffing one is small size bead to make the eye needle scissor and one is stitch marker now take the white color thread first we are going to make this head to make a ring here I am going to use a magic ring So once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches so take your hook into that ring make one single crochet then two like this total six single crochets so after six single crochets if you are working in this magic ring just pull this loose end to close so round number one is done and we have six single crochets here we are not going to use a slip stitch we are going to work directly on top of first stitch so take your hook on top of first single crochet and here we are going to make one single crochet then top of next single crochet make two single crochets place the marker on your first stitch so in round number two we are going to repeat this stitches top of next stitch make one single crochet then on next stitch make two single crochet then one then two so at the end of round number two you will have nine single crochet stitches So round number two is done now in round number three top of each stitch we are going to make one one single crochet so top take your hook on top of first stitch make one single crochet then in next one so like this make one one single crochet in remaining stitches and complete round number three so at the end of round number three you will have nine stitches round number three is done now in round number four top of next two stitch one and two make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochets now in round number four we are going to repeat this stitches in next two stitch make one one single crochet then on third stitch make two single crochet then in next two stitch make one one single crochet then on third stitch make two single crochet like this repeat these stitches and complete round number four so at the end of round number four you will have 12 stitches
so round number 4 is done now in round number 5 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch from our previous round So like this make one one single crochet and complete round number five so round number five is done and we have 12 stitches now in round number six top of next three stitches make one one single crochet So after three single crochet work on next stitch and make two single crochets now in round number six we are going to repeat this stitches in next three stitch make one one single crochet then on next stitch make two single crochet then in next three stitch make one one single crochet and on your last stitch make two single crochet like this repeat this stitches and complete round number six so at the end of round number six you will have 15 stitches so when you work on your last single crochet of round number six here we are going to change the color from first to second so take the second color thread Now just grab this thread and pull from this two loop. Now just cut the first color thread. Now we are going to work on this body. And when you work on these stitches, just work along with this two loose end to close to secure these threads. So in round number seven, we are going to work with second color. Again, we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch. So take a hook for a single crochet. Now just keep this loose ends above your crochet hook like this. So it gets secure. One. Then in next stitch, make one single crochet. Two. Then in next. Three. Then in next. Four. so like this make one one single crochet work on remaining stitches and complete round number seven so at the end of round number seven you will have 15 stitches so round number seven is done now in round number eight top of next four stitches make one one single crochet After four single crochet, work on next stitch and make two single crochets. Two. So in round number eight, we are going to repeat this stitches. In next four stitch, make one one single crochet. Then on next stitch, make two single crochets. Like this, repeat the stitches and work till your last stitch. So at the end of round number 8 you will have 18 stitches. So round number 8 is done. Now from round number 9 to 12 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch. One, one, then one single crochet. So like this, make one one single crochet and complete round number nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I've done with round number twelve. Now we have eighteen stitches. Now in round number thirteen, we are going to decrease the single crochet stitches. So to do the decrease, work in next two single crochet stitch, take the front loop, one and two. Now grab and pull the thread from first two loop, 
now you will have two loop on your hook now grab and pull from next two loop so like this we have decreased one single crochet and we got one stitch here now in next seven stitches make one one single crochet And round number 13 we are going to repeat this stitches make one decrease then work one one single crochet in next seven stitches like this repeat this stitches and work till your last stitch So round number 13 is done and we have 16 stitches now in round number 14 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so round number 14 is done and we have 16 stitches now just fill this gap with the fiber now in round number 15 work in next two single crochet and make one decrease so work take the front loop grab and pull from first two loop then next two loop so one decrease Then in next six stitches make one one single crochet. So total seven stitches now in round number 15 we are going to repeat this stitches make one decrease then one single crochet in next six stitches so round number 15 is done and we have 14 stitches now in round number 16 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so at the end of round number 16 you will have 14 stitches So round number 16 is done now in round number 17 again work in next two single crochet work in front loop make one decrease then work in next five stitches and make one one single crochet in round number 17 we are going to repeat this stitches in next two stitch make one decrease then work in next five stitches and make one one single crochet like this complete round number 17 so round number 17 is done now in round number 18 top of each stitch make one one single crochet so at the end of round number 18 you will have 12 stitches So round number 18 is done again we are going to fill this gap with the fiber now in round number 19 work in next two stitches make one decrease then in next four stitches make one one single crochet
so in round number 19 we are going to repeat this stitches make one decrease then in next four stitches make one one single crochet like this repeat these stitches and work till your last step so at the end of round number 19 you will have 10 stitches So round number 19 is done. Now in round number 20, we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch. So at the end of round number 20, you will have 10 stitches. round number 20 is done now round number 21 next is two stitches make one decrease and work in next three stitch and make one one single crochet now repeat one more time round number 21 is done and we have now 8 stitches now in round number 22 top of each stitch we are going to make one one single crochet so at the end of round number 22 you will have 8 stitches Now again we are going to fill this gap with the fiber. Now in round number 23 make one decrease. then work in next six stitches and make one one single crochet so when you work on your sixth single crochet here again we are going to change the color to our first color so now grab the thread pull from next two loop now just cut the second color thread and now we are going to work on this tail So in round number 24 we are going to work with first color top of next seven stitches we are going to make one one single crochet
so round number 24 is done and we have 7 stitches now in round number 25 top of first stitch here make 2 single crochets then one single crochet in next stitch then two single crochet in next stitch then one single crochet next stitch then two single crochet next stitch then one single crochet next stitch and on your last stitch make two single crochets so round number 25 is done and now we have 11 stitches now in round number 26 we are going to make one one single crochet top of each stitch so at the end of round number 26 you will have 11 stitches So 11 stitches now in our last round top of first stitch make two single crochet now work in next nine stitches and make one one single crochet then on your last stitch make two single crochet now we are going to join these two ends together so take your hook in first stitch then take your hook to the first is to the next stitch of this side and make one single crochet then work on next stitch from this side and one stitch from this side make one single crochet like this you need to make total six stitches Now just make chain 1, pull and cut this thread, so this is done. Now from the top count the 3 rows, 1, 2, 3. So in between 3 and 4th row we are going to stitch this bead to make the eye.
so this small fish is done i hope you have learned from this video if you have any questions or query please do let me know in comment section so see you in my next video till then bye bye take care